BookBub has millions of members who are looking to buy 99 cent books every day. With BookBub ads, you can get in front of them in a simple way. BookBub offers featured deals and display ads. Though you can appeal to BookBub members interested in your genre with each of these marketing tactics, they are quite different. BookBub is very selective about books getting featured deals. You typically need many Amazon reviews. If you are accepted, you pay a one-time fee, depending on your genre, to be included in a daily email. These fees range from a few hundred dollars to over a thousand. Yes, I know that may seem steep. However, these emails are often seen by over a million people. With a featured deal, your book is presented in the body of a daily deal email as a staff choice. With display ads, BookBub is not selective about books. Any author can run them. You're in control over your own budget. You pay by volume, either by the amount of people who see your ad or the amount of times your ad is clicked. There's no minimum payment. If you want to run BookBub display ads for just 10 bucks, you can definitely do that. Your book is presented in the same emails as featured deals. However, your book will show up at the bottom of the email. In addition, your book is not presented as a staff choice. Feature deals and display ads can both be extremely effective. If you like, you can run both at the same time. Here's an example of a BookBub display ad that I ran. A graphic like this would appear at the bottom of emails that BookBub sends to its members. If people click it, they'll be taken to your book's Amazon page. In general, people who open these emails are actively looking for 99 cent books to run display ads or apply for a featured deal. You need to create a BookBub Partners account, which is for authors versus readers. To do this, go to partners.bookbub.com. Once you're logged into your account, select BookBub Ads, then create an ad. First, you're going to be asked to choose a reading format. Go with ebook readers. If you happen to have an audiobook version, you might want to try advertising it on BookBub. However, this lesson does not concern audiobook advertising. You're going to be asked to choose a book to advertise. You're then going to select the deal price for your book, which would be 99 cents. You're then going to be asked to put in an ad image. Though you can use BookBub's Ad Builder tool, creating a custom image is recommended. To do this, you would choose Upload Existing Creative. You can create your ad in Canva, giving it custom dimensions of 300 by 250 pixels. There are various approaches you can take to your ad's graphic. Here is one that I recommend. At the top, put in some indication of credibility, either about you as an author or the book. Then put in a question about a related famous author or the subgenre. If you Google create 3D book cover or a similar term, you can access free tools to upload your book cover and get back a 3D image with that cover on an e-reader. You then want to include a positive statement related to the question you ask. For instance, like Harlan Coben, you'll love this hit book. You're going to want to use a relevant background image, though there are some trees in the background image. They do not interfere with the text, making it difficult to read. You want to capture people's attention with these ads with just a glance, making text difficult to read can drastically lower your click-through rate. Finally, I have 99 cents on an image of a large button. If somebody were to click anywhere on the ad, they would be taken to your book's Amazon page. However, putting the image of a button on here does focus people's attention to something they can click on. You're then going to be asked to put in Amazon links. BookBub will populate your US, UK, and Canada link. You also have the option to add your Australia link. 
These do not show up by default. Next, you're going to enter your targeting. This is where you specify the people who will see your ad. You have the option to target by authors and categories. I recommend you do both for each ad. Just put in your main genre as the category. Author targeting involves a few more steps. Oh, you may mention an author with a huge following in your ad. For example, I mentioned Harlan Coben. You likely don't want to target your ad to this author's readers. I realize this may seem a bit odd. BookBub keeps track of how many readers any author has that are associated with BookBub. For authors with very large reader counts, a significant percentage of those readers tend to not be avid readers within the genre that author writes in. Relevance on BookBub tends to be more accurate for authors with under 50,000 readers on their BookBub listing. A good percentage of these readers tend to be avid readers of the genre that author writes in. So how do you find authors to target for your book? The related authors area is a good place to look. You can also check out your Amazon profile. At the bottom is a list of authors who customers have also bought books from. You can search for these names to see their reader count and see if they have under 50,000. To get more names, visit the Amazon author profile of each of the authors listed at the bottom of your page. Then see the authors listed at the bottom of their pages. You can keep repeating this process until you have at least 10 names. For any author, I recommend you view their Amazon page and look at the sort of books they have out. Their most popular books should be within the subgenre of the book you're currently advertising. If there isn't a match there, remove the author from your list and keep searching until you find another one that's a fit. I recommend you set your ad up before your deal window starts. This can even be just a day before. Your schedule, choose select a start and end date. The start date would be the day your promo window starts. The end date would be the last day of your promo window. If your ad isn't performing well, you can turn it off at any time. You also can up its budget at any time. Your budget should be based on your personal financial situation. For pacing, I recommend you select fulfill as quickly as possible. In this case, if your ad gets a lot of volume, you may be on pace to spend your entire budget before your ad scheduled end date. If the ad is doing well and your financial situation permits, feel free to add more budget to the ad to extend it. Sometimes a BookBub ad will get a lot of volume right away. Other times it won't. To effectively manage your budget and reach, you're likely going to have to log into BookBub every day, check out your results, and make tweaks. For example, if you have a $1,500 budget for the entire five-day promo window, I would not recommend putting in $1,500 for total campaign budget. Instead, start out with a smaller amount on day one and see how quickly the ad is going through its budget. If the ad seems to be generating a lot of volume, you should be able to increase the budget daily to get a crescendo effect. On the other hand, you may notice your ad is hardly getting any volume at all. If this is the case, you may want to create another ad on day two targeting a different author. Next, you're gonna be asked about a bid. Unlike with Amazon ads, which are paid for on a cost per click or CPC basis, BookBub offers CPC ads in addition to CPM paid for based on how many people see them, not how many people click on them. I recommend you try CPM first. If you create an ad that happens to appeal to a lot of people, and you're getting a lot of clicks, you're not going to be charged for all of those clicks. In this example, we have average winning bids are between $10 and $12.64.
if you were to select CPC, Book, BookBub would give you what the average winning bids are per click. If you go with CPM and choose a bid at the high end of the recommended range, for instance, $12 in this example, BookBub will likely show your ad to a lot of people. If that ad resonates and you get a lot of clicks, the effective cost per click can be way lower than the average winning bid on a CPC ad. Next, you're gonna pick a name for your ad. Go with something that reflects the content in the ad image and the targeted authors. Once your ad starts running, you'll be able to measure results. Whether or not your ad is a CPM or a CPC type, BookBub is going to give you an effective CPM and an effective PC remaining budget refers to how much of your budget remains. Once your ad is done running, this goes to zero. Budget spent is how much money the ad has spent so far. Impression served, how many times the ad was seen. Total clicks, how many times it's been clicked. And then CTR, the amount of clicks the ad has gotten versus the amount of times it's been seen. BookBub ads don't give you sales data. For instance, the amount of times your book was purchased on Amazon, but you can measure CPC, the lower, the better. If you do look at your Amazon sales report during the course of your BookBub ads, you should be able to get a sense of how many sales your ad is leading to. With this ad, I was charged 48 cents per click. If BookBub suggested 60 cents a click to 75 cents a click, and I bid 48 cents, I would be getting outbid by other ads competing for the limited space inside of the daily deals emails, and my ad might be shown to just a few people. However, by bidding at the high end of the CPM range, my bid was able to win out against other CPM bids. My ad was shown over 40,000 times, and because it got a pretty solid CTR of 2.37%, I was only charged 48 cents per click. The easiest way to advertise is to create one CPM campaign and target it to multiple authors. Around 10 is a good number. However, I do recommend you use day one to do some testing. Unlike with Amazon ads, there is not a long approval process for BookBub ads. You can do a good amount of testing during your promo window. What you can do is create 10 different CPM campaigns, each targeted to just one author, and run them all on day one at a low budget. For example, $10 per campaign then see which authors get you the best results. If you wanna look for ads that bring in a lot of impressions at a low cost per click. If you wanna try testing different ad images, I recommend you do this on day one. Create a different campaign for each image variation at a low budget and look at the number of impressions and the cost per click. Once your data comes in from day one, you wanna look at your best performing author targets and images. Then during days two through five of your promo window, you can create a campaign with just the authors and image with the best results during testing. If you notice your CPM ads on day one are not getting good results at all, on days two through five, you can switch to a CPC type campaign and see if you get better results. Use the select action option to manage your ads. For any test ad, you could turn it off after a day. With a non-test ad, you could keep it on and up the budget each day during your promo window. Like with Amazon, your ad may stop receiving impressions after too much exposure. If so, you can use the duplicate feature to create another version in just a few seconds.